Robert Frost, key themes like ambivalence and isolation and mortality are currents beneath his poetry that breach the surface of his language through sustained metaphors, structure of language and rhyme, and enduring turns of phrase. As often as a speaker takes a stand or chooses a position in Frost's poetry, the opposing ambivalence or uncertainty is present around every corner. Sometimes it's in the consciousness of one man, as in The Pasture, where solitude and the company of a beloved have nearly equal appeal. It may also exist as distinct perceptions between two individuals, such as in Mending Wall and The Death of the Hired Man. Ambivalence can also be found in Fire and Ice, which shows that two seeming opposites, fiery desire and icy hatred, are equally destructive. In Frost's poems, ambivalence serves as a reminder that opposing views may be simultaneously correct. It is the nature of language and culture to assume that opposing terms demand a choice. Frost's work is full of reminders about the simultaneous validity of opposing ideas. Isolation and mortality is another critical theme in Frost's poetry. His diction, or word choice, ranges often at loss and tragedy. But equally evident are his searches for ways to overcome heart-wrenching events and find recovery in peace and hope. In Home Burial, anger characterizes the relationship between husband and wife. Beyond the bitter tone of the piece is the inescapable situational irony of marriage and parenthood, relationships that have led not to companionship, but to isolation. This couple cannot share what should be the common pain in burying their firstborn child. After Apple Picking is a poem that exemplifies the resignation and graceful acceptance of a life without material success. This song of grace and acceptance is an appreciation of mortality as a well-earned rest. Nothing Gold Can Stay, Frost's hymn to mortality, is charged with a profoundly sweet human sadness, like a song that might have been sung by the biblical Adam and Eve at the moment of expulsion from the Garden of Eden, a song all mortals sing. For all the perfection of gold, its fleeting beauty is a reminder that immortality is not possible, 